Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Creel, Brand Ambassador of Pinseeker, and today I'm going to be covering the carry data point on your launch monitor. So every launch monitor reads carry. I love the carry data point. I always had it pulled up when I'm practicing and when I'm teaching my students, it's one of the first icons that I look at or data point that I look at. And the reason why is the carry distance is going to tell me if there's anything going on that day with their swing. And it's going to let lead me to other data points to kind of diagnose the issue. But first, before you look at carry, you need to have a good idea of how far you carry the ball. Most golfers, I find, focus on their total distance. So if I ask them how far they hit a seven iron, they're going to be like, I hit it, you know, 150 yards. And then I'm going to go, is that how far you carry it? Or is that how far it rolled out onto the green or the fairway or whatever? And usually that's a total number. I need you to know your carry distance and don't ever, I never focus on total, very rarely unless I'm, I'm fitting a driver or something. And again, at the end of the day, that's just a guess because it's calculated off the, uh, the firmness of the fairway. And again, that can change from day to day or where you are playing golf in the country or the world. So carry distance doesn't change that much unless there's you know different sea levels and things like that, different t temperatures, but you can gauge that before you tee off. That's why it's important to know carry. So what I want you to do is to get your carry number is you need to hit about 10 to 12 shots with each club in your bag. I want you to omit, so delete the bottom two yardages and the top two, and that's gonna give you a range of what you're hitting that club and what you should expect to hit that club. And I recommend you do this two to three times a year. And the thing is, is that's gonna keep you kind of one, how far you're hitting the ball, which is important when you go out to the course, but it's also gonna let you know, hey, am I gaining yardage? Am I hitting it better? Um, or am I hitting it worse and getting less? And it could be due to equipment changes, ball changes, even down to your shoe changes. So again, it's good to know your carry yardages and that's gonna be the first data point that I want you to focus on to move on to the rest of the data points. But you gotta know your carry yardage and if you're carrying it further than you normally do or lower than you normally do. So good luck and pay attention to that carry.